work on the main turrets and um, starting at uh, step 50. Um, here's the fret or the sprue. There's the top of the turret, bottom. Barrels, <clears throat> the um, last bags, which are optional, the uh, optical range finders, right here in two pieces. So basically, this whole sprue is. main battery or main turret parts so let's go ahead and take these off and um, we'll start gluing it together
not only do I want to get the burrs off, but I want to try and sand off <clears throat> some of the uh, molding seam line here that's right down the middle. <clears throat> so I'll use a finer grit to do that. There is one barrel done. All right, here is the turret build so far. I've got the three guns placed inside. Then this part will fit over it. And the optical range finders go on the side of the turret, right, like, like that, those go on like that, so, we can go ahead and glue those on, but I'm going to wait. Because there's a bit of a seam line right there, you can see it, and I want to sand that nice and smooth. This one not so much, but the other one it shows up quite a bit. So I want to wait till this is totally dried up and cured, and I'll sand those, and then at the same time, this will be. The glue on these will be cured, and then I can position these barrels correctly so that they fit into here correctly. Okay, so right now we're just going to let things dry. Oh, I uh, painted the blast bags in case I decide to use them. All the pictures I looked at showed them as black. Okay. Um, I have all the little secondary turrets done. Got the little ladders on the side. These are ready to go. Just gotta take the airbrush to them and paint them all uniform gray. Okay, here is the one turret done. As far as step 50 goes. 50 and into step 51 here. We've put the top onto the bottom. We've glued the optical range finders on. Um, the next thing to do here is to add these uh, there's some life rafts that go on the side and these little parts called P12 and I'm not sure what those are I've seen them in pictures but it, I'm not sure what they are anyway we'll get those and the life rafts and we'll add them to the sides here so let's do that okay here's one of the main turrets uh, of step 51 <clears throat> that is done. Now 
the uh, next step, which is, um, let's see, if I can change this. Step 52, we're going to build another turret that essentially is the same, except we're going to make some holes on the top because <clears throat> this particular turret is going to get a gun tub on top. As well as the ladders and such. After that, we start on another turret. Which has all the normal stuff on it. And it's going to get a gun tub on top of it also. With all the ladders and baskets and things. Okay, so, what we're going to do now, <clears throat> excuse me, is we are basically done with this first turret from step 51. We'll set that aside, put it up here with the rest of the little turrets. Uh, then we're going to move to step 52, so we're going to start building another or the main turrets. And this one's going to get some holes on top to receive the gun tubs right here. Okay. Okay, um, here is the second turret done up to, um, let's see, step 53. This is step 53 all done. Um, only thing I... I need to do is put another basket on the back here. I knocked it off by mistake. Just get the glue another basket on there. But uh, all the gun barrels are on. They go up and down. The this okay. Th this turret and this first turret I built. These are both ready to be painted now. And um, then once they're painted, I'll put the blast bags on, and then they will be done. So now we're going to work on the third turret. Okay, um, here are all the parts cut out, except one. Okay, here it is. I didn't find it on the uh, sprues because I had already taken it off <clears throat> and had stuck it onto the deck of the ship model. Um, so here it is. We got the top and the bottoms. We got the gun tub. We got the we got the barrels. We got the halves of the uh, optical range finders. So these are most of the, if not all of the plastic parts we need. The um, <clears throat> photo etch parts will be ladders and I think that's about it, just ladders. Okay, here is the way the turret looks with all the plastic glued onto it, all the plastic pieces assembled. The only thing that's lacking on this turret right now are a couple ladders that go on each side and the ladders down the front here. And for right now, the uh, Gun turrets that I made, um, they're gonna remain at the stage they're at right now until they get painted. Okay, here we go. Okay, so in building this smokestack, I've gotten to this second part right here. I got this uh, grill or grate or whatever it is um, placed on top of this portion. Now I have these little 
pipes that need to go inside here. Um, the way they're molded by Trumpeter, there's, they're just like they're closed shut. And I just want to open those up a little bit. So what I've done is put them in my locking scissors here. And um, I'm going to make a starter hole with my exacto blade. Like this. So I have <clears throat> carved out a little indentation here. Then I'm going to try and take my little drill here that's not working so I'll go back to my exacto blade here and try and carve out some more The idea is not to make this totally hollow, but to give the indentation, indentation, indication of an opening in this pipe. All right, I have made a little bit of a hole in there. There we go. I'll open that up a little bit more and that'll be good. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to do this same thing with all three of these little pipes. This is ready for <clears throat> photo etch ladders. There's going to be several of them on here and other things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and find all the photo etch parts I need and put them on and then this thing hopefully will be ready to spray. Here is one of the smokestack assemblies with 
the photo wedge railing and ladders on it. Uh, so far, as far as painting goes, I've painted the entire thing the XF19 gray, sky gray. I have painted the very top portion where the grill is, uh, German gray. <clears throat> Um, some pictures I've seen show this entire top mast assembly as painted dark, like black or something. Others show it totally gray like this. It's hard to tell in the pictures I've seen exactly what was what. But uh, this is pretty much done. And, um, yeah. I just find a have to find a safe place to keep this so it doesn't get all busted and bent up. All right. Here is an overview of all the main guns on the Iowa. Uh, <clears throat> the three main batteries, 16-inch guns. I have them all painted. All the parts on them the only thing I don't have on these is on the very top edge of these turrets there is a small I don't even know if you want to call it a railing but it's a type of a railing that goes around the upper edges of these turrets <clears throat> um, I am not sure that I'm even gonna put those on um, I would love to put them on. Uh, I actually tried to put them on this first turret here I was building. But I kept failing miserably at it. Um, they are so small and so delicate and so hard to make them glue down to the edge of these turrets. I just said it's not worth it. But everything else is on these turrets that's supposed to be and I think that once they are placed on the ship 99% of the people are not going to notice it or even know it's supposed to be there only I will know and those of you who are building this ship will know and it doesn't matter because nobody else is going to see this ship except for me <laughs> I mean, you know, when it's on display. <clears throat> so those are the, the three main batteries. There's ten secondary batteries on the Iowa and Missouri and um, <clears throat> New Jersey and other battleships that are in this type of class. And they, um, <clears throat> the secondary batteries berries secondary batteries are these five inch guns mounted in a turret twin barreled twin guns this goes around the sides of the uh, superstructure on both sides <clears throat> port and starboard and um, as far as I know these are the same type of 5-inch guns that you will find on Sullivan-class destroyers and other destroyers during World War II. <clears throat> uh, I think it, maybe even World War I had 5-inch guns on them. But um, these are all painted up too. And they have all the parts on them. So these are done. These are done and ready to go. Each little turret has a ladder on one side. And they came out pretty good. You can see the main guns here. The ladders. The life rafts. This particular 
main battery has a uh, <clears throat> gun tub with um, the quad mount um, Bofors 40 millimeter anti-aircraft guns. This one has an elongated gun gun tub on it with 20 millimeter Orlikins, I believe they're called, on it. And the little box in the front contains a uh, uh, not a range detector, but a fire firing detector or something like that. Anyway, it's tied into the guns and helps them to uh, hit their target. The first turret in in the uh, towards the bow of the ship does not have any gun batteries on top of it. Um, each of these main turrets have these um, baskets in the back that um, were used for holding um, these flotation devices uh, to use uh, for uh, rescue or something for the uh, uh, sailors or whatever to hold on to if they had to go in the water. So there you have it. This is where I am ending this particular episode of the uh, 1 200 scale Iowa build. These guns are now ready to go on the deck. Okay, there we have it.